It's the start of a brand new Tuesday morning as we welcome you back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso right here on SABC3. Thanks for joining us. It's so good to be in your company. <laughs> now, it's been said that there's no other love like the love from a brother. And this morning, we're joined in studio by three gentlemen who are helping our needing sisters in our community through their Donate a Pad campaign, looking to combat the high rate of teenage girls missing out on their education. And in studio today, we are joined by Kaya Kagani, Peace Zoliza Boza, and Mongani Makeleni, the founders of the Kusasaletu group. Ah, oh, let's give them a warm welcome yeah. in studio because they're doing amazing like work. Good to you now feel good Good morning, gents. How are you? Good, thanks, and you? Fantastic. Great to have you here. Um, th this is an incredible thing that you have undertaken, uh, very much needed. Um, issue to address within our communities. Mm. Your drive in helping um, disadvantaged girls in our country with this Donate a Pad campaign. Give us a bit of a, an idea of what the stats are looking like right now and exactly what it is that prompted you to, to start this movement. No, definitely. So thank you so much for the opportunity. So when we started the foundation, it was 2016. Yeah. And at the time, we looked at the stats, there were about 9 million girls and 25% of those 9 million would not able to have a sanitary pouch to go to school. Mm. Oh, wow. And those were between the ages of 13 to 18. And our biggest challenge at that stage was just collecting and getting people involved to support us and encourage just these young girls to go to school. Yeah, yeah. So take us back a little bit. I mean, what you guys are doing is very fundamental, especially during the development stages for young women, because it's a big thing in our country. What was the moment of enlightenment for you guys? What clicked and that made you guys mm. think, you know what, this is something that we need to do, and as men, let's take it upon ourselves to do it. Look, um, it started in 2016, as Peace said, there was this one schoolboy who was going to school, um, carrying his books with a checkers bag. Mm. So that is basically how we started the Kosozale 2 Foundation. We said, what can we do to, to help this boy and also to play our role in our communities as well? Um, following year, we started to do something else because on that first year, 2016, we collected school bags and we gave it to um, children. We moved to the sanitary towers, the space gave you the stats. Mm. We, we also wanted to play our role because um, menstruation, we, as, us especially as guys, we think it's a stigma. We mm. even don't want to go to the aisles in the shops, you know. We said, you know what, we'll make things different. We'll collect on behalf of our sisters and make sure they go to school, they get education so that they can change their tomorrow. I love it. Yeah. Man, that is incredible. Mm. So right now you <clears throat> are on a national tour. Yes. And there's a big goal that you have planned for 2019. Clue us in on that and also let us know, you know how the public can be a part of this, uh, whether it be through a website that we can join in, read up more information about what it is that you're doing. Give us the plan for 2019 and also details of the national tour. Uh, actually, it's been a great year, I must say. Um, we're closing this year on a big, 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 big event yeah. that uh, is taking place in Eastern Cape. We, I remember when we started, it was a dream for us to go to Eastern Cape mm -hmm. because it's where the struggle is. Yeah. Remember I said in Eastern Cape, it's, it's quite a distance. You, you might have the twin terrain for the pack, but you need another foot terrain. Twin terrain again to travel and twin terrain again to come back. Yeah. Yes. So, so for, for us, it was a dream to, to, to take the service that, that we're providing to these high schools mm -hmm. straight to where the struggle is yeah. Yeah. in the rural areas. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, this is the fourth school that now we'll be doing in, in Eastern Cape. Mm -hmm. yeah. Fourth school and we, we are in, in Tabankulu. We're sending about over 700 pegs wow. of pegs. Already. That's and you, you are aiming to collect and distribute 5,000. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that, that, is, yeah, that was that the ultimate goal when we started, you yeah, know, yeah. Um, we've been doing throughout the year yeah. and mm. we keep on pushing because menstruation, it's, it's an ongoing thing. You understand? Yes. yes. We might be going now, but it's an ongoing thing. There are also schools in Cape Town also mm. and we are planning to do um, what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. So ah. where can we follow you? Let's talk about that because we want everyone at home yeah. to know, you know, post this interview, where can they find information about you, where they'd be on social media, on Facebook and stuff like that, and how they can then continue to support. As you said, this is an ongoing mission. Yeah. Um, um, we have our Facebook page, um, Kosa Saletu Group, mm -hmm. and also have Instagram, which is Kosa Saletu underscore group, and also have our website, that is Kosa Saletu Group, www.kosasaletu group. You can get all the information there. 
Fantastic stuff, Jenny. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Thank you so much for joining us. Absolutely enlightening. The co-founders of Gusasa Late right now. Let's check what Tabzi is doing in the dining room.